Well, for me, I, I, I see it as nothing spectacular. Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary. Mm. It's just a confirmation of what we've always said here something in the we've past. Already, something we've already known. There's nothing he has we've said that I mean my last appearance here on the second, mm. all the issues that President Obasanjo is now, ex President Obasanjo is now um uh bringing to Limelight. to limelight. Mm. There are issues we discussed here. You and I had a very robust interview here on the second. There is absolutely nothing that ex President Obasanjo has said that we didn't warn about. Mm. Nigeria should not have been in this mess. So yes, it is good. It is patriotic of President Obasanjo to come up today and then start giving short, um, um, firing shot. But the truth is, President Obasanjo holds the Nigerian people an apology. Mm. President Obasanjo holds my generation an apology. You left a young man who was trying his best to move the nation forward. You went to Daura and brought a man who, after leaving power, after being pursued out of power in 1985, mm. President uh, uh, General Muhammadu Buhari did not relinquish power in 1985. He was dethroned mm. after being removed from power in 1985. From 1985 to 2015, 30 years. This man never wrote a book. This man never went to school. This man never gave a public lecture. This man never even showed you a business he had improved on. Mm. This man was in Daura, minding his cows. Mm. But you people felt that, oh, Jonathan was not playing balls. You went and brought a man that does not understand the current situation of things around the world. Imagine the embarrassment in the U.S. immediately after this man was declared the winner of the election. He was asked, oh, by a lady, a lady journalist in the U.S., how are you going to run your government, the inclusive, inclusiveness? You know what Buhari said? President Buhari said, eh, those that voted for me, I will treat them specially. Those that did not vote for me, I will dead them. He divided Nigeria. No, 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 it's not, it's not, it's not a joke. President Buhari divided Nigeria into 97%. And 5%, a president. That was where our problem started. That was the mindset of the man that president of this same Obasanjo brought to us in 2015. So, first of all, before president Obasanjo, we now, because everything he has said, some of us did not only campaign against the emergence of President Buhari. We have kept him on his toes for the past three years. So if Obasanjo wants to join the wedding whalers as they call us, he should take a tag and queue up behind. He cannot, he will not leave this, he will not lead this revolution. Because look at it holistically. There is nothing President Obas Chief Obasanjo has said that is not true. Nothing. President Bari doesn't have an idea of the economy. The, it, 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 was a, it was a calamity to have brought this man to power. It was a mistake. It was an unforgivable mistake to my own generation to have brought a man that is nearing this I don't understand to have brought him to power at this age when presidents are discussing with each other on Twitter when they, sorry on, on WhatsApp when presidents are conversing on social media when presidents are discussing with the citizenry on social media you went and brought a man who doesn't who cannot even understand simple English to come and be president President Obasanjo and every other person, and every other person, Pastor Tunde Bakari, Chief Femi Volano, all of them that brought this catastrophe on night. You know when I said the last time, I said, what Buari has done, everybody is a victim. Even his party members are victims. Because there is no separate market for APC members. Yeah. There is no market you go to where they will tell you, oh, with your APC card, you can buy rice at 8,500 naira. You can buy fuel at 87 naira. No! Everybody goes to the same market. Obasanjo is affected. Dangote is affected. Everybody is affected. 180 million people are suffering for the decision of people like Chief Olusegun Obasanjo. So yes, Buhari is a catastrophe. President Buhari is a catastrophe. But beyond that, those who brought him to power, there was no way Buhari could have won the 2015 election. Because... All through the campaigns, all through the, two, the campaigns leading to the 2015 elections, do you know there was no instance that President Buhari actually engaged the public? 
You know what you call interactions, engagement, that you're able to ask questions. Because they were shielding him. President Obasanjo cannot tell us that he's just knowing that President Buhari does not have idea or a hold or an understanding of the economy. No! He knew it in 2015. They protected this man from public engagement. They, protect, they shielded him from people asking questions. We asked them. We took them to court. Where is the, where is the result of this man? Where is the YX result of this man? Up to today, they refused to produce that. You brought a man... I mean, how can you look at Nigerians? What ought me? I don't care if Abga had won. I don't care if Labour Party had won. I don't care. It's not about my party. It is about the fact that Nigeria's progress was truncated. Now, whichever president comes in in 2019, eh, it will take us 10, 15, 20 years to rebuild what this man has destroyed. You want to talk about corruption? Let, let, let them go back to Daura. Let APC live in 2019. You will understand the corruption that is happening in this government. For the wife of the president to come out and tell you that she, don't, she doesn't understand what is going on in her government. This presidency has been hijacked. It's simple as that. The wife is complaining. The daughter is complaining. All the supporters are complaining. Dele Momodu is complaining. I mean, people who stood by... Obasanjo is complaining now. Mm. But they came late to the party. There's something about Obasanjo. I...